Hi all, let's start mass grade 6, chapter 10, the other side of zero, subtopic, explorations with integers, learning objectives. After this session, learners will be able to apply addition skills to fill a hollow integer grid, analyze the concept of grids with numbers. A hollow integer grid, observe the grid, there is something special about the numbers in these grids. Let us explore what that is. Top row. If we are here, 4, minus 1, minus 1. This is horizontal one we call it rows. So this is the top row. 4, minus 1, minus 3. The sum is 0. Bottom row. Minus 1, minus 1, plus 2. Sum is 0. Left column. 4, minus 3, minus 1. 0. Right column. Minus 3, plus 1, plus 2, 0. So, whatever this top row addition, bottom row addition, left column addition, and the right column, all leads to 0. Let us see the second one. Here, 5 minus 3 minus 5, that is minus 3. It's a top row. Then bottom row, minus 8 minus 2 plus 7, that is minus 3. Then a left column, 5 plus 0 plus minus 8. That is minus 3. Right column. Minus 5 plus minus 5 plus 7. That is minus 3. Figure it out. A hollow integer grid. First question. Do the calculations for the second grid above and find the border sum. Solution. The second grid is as below. 5 minus 3. 5, 0, minus 5, minus 8, minus 2, 7. The border sum is calculated as follows. Top row. 5 minus 3 minus 5 that is minus 3 bottom row minus 8 minus 2 plus 7 minus 3 then left column 5 0 minus 8 that value is minus 3 the right column here 5 minus 5 plus 7 that is minus 3 let us see question number 2 complete the grids to make the required border sum so here there are three subsections. The border sum is plus 4. Second one is the border sum is minus 2. Third one is the border sum is minus 4. Solution. Here, for the first one, we use the border sum as plus 4. So, from this one, we can easily come to know that minus 10 plus 9 is minus 1. To make it as a plus 4, we need to add plus 5. Similarly, minus 10 plus 8 plus 6. That will give us Therefore, top row is minus 10 plus 8 plus 6 is 4. Then, bottom row is 9 minus 8 plus 3 is 4. The left column, minus 10 plus 8 plus 9, that is 4. The right column, 6 minus 5 plus 3, that is plus 4. Let us see second one. The border sum should be here, minus 2. So, here, let us see top row. 6, 8, minus 16. That leads to minus 2. This bottom row. Minus 19, plus minus 2, plus 19. That is this, minus 2. This left column. 6, plus 11, plus minus 19. That is minus 2. Right column. Minus 16, minus 5. Plus 19, that is equals to minus 2. Let us see third grid. Third grid bottom, border sum should be minus 4. So here, we are this top row, 7 minus 6 minus 5. The sum is minus 4. This, then bottom row is minus 2 minus 8 plus 6. So it is minus 4. This left column is 7 minus 9 minus 2. That is minus 4. This right column is minus 5, minus 5 and this plus 6. That value is minus 4. Figure it out. Third question. For the last grid above, find more than one way of filling the numbers to get border sum as minus 4. So this is the last grid. Yes, you can fill with more than one. There are multiple ways to fill the last grid with border sum as a minus 4. First way. Here. We can fill this. Observe. 7 
minus 3 minus 8 this is minus 4 so here the border sum is minus 4 here this down minus 9 minus 4 plus 9 is also minus 4 thus left column 7 minus 2 minus 9 is also minus 4 thus right column minus 8 minus 5 plus 9 is minus 4 second way here the border sum first row, top row that is 7 minus 14 plus 3 is minus 4 thus bottom row is minus 17 plus 15 minus 2 that is also minus 4 and this left column 7 plus 6 minus 17 sum is minus 4 this right column plus 3 minus 5 and minus 2 this sum is also minus 4 third way here 7 minus 6 minus 5 this is the top row this bottom row is here minus 2 minus 8 plus 6 that is minus 4 and this left column is 7 minus 9 minus 2 is minus 4 this right column is minus 5 minus 5 plus 6 is minus 4 figure it out question number 4 which other bits can be filled in multiple ways what could be the reason solution first bit can be filled in multiple ways reason larger bit with more rows and columns is likely to have multiple solution this is because there are more possibilities for distributing members while still achieving the desired border sum figure it out question number five make a border integer square puzzle and challenge your classmates here a border integer square is as below here this border sum should be c you can solve it out here this is the solution here plus four plus five minus three the sum is plus six here and this bottom row here minus 6 plus 2 plus 10 is plus 6 and this left column plus 4 plus 8 minus 6 is plus 6 this minus 3 minus 1 plus 10 is plus 6 therefore the border sum plus 4 is achieved with this grid an amazing grid of numbers below is a grid having some numbers follow the steps as shown until no number is left here just in an example below, the circle numbers are minus 1, 9, minus 7, minus 2. If you add them, you get minus 1. Let us see here. The procedure is circle any number. For example, here, now we are circling minus 1. Then strike out row and column of the chosen number. So we are striking out this row and column. Then circle any unstruck number. This is 9. We are then let us strike out row and column of that one. Then similarly, repeat, we are circling this minus 7 and we are striking out row and column. Then circle minus 2, then let us strike out the row and column. Figure it out, question number 1. Try a fresh, choose different numbers this time. What sum did you get? What is different from first time? Try a few more times. Solution. A border integer square puzzle is as below. 3, 4, 0, 9, minus 2, minus 1, minus 5, 4, 1, 2, minus 2, 7, minus 7, minus 6, minus 10, minus 1. Let circle number 0. Then we are doing this, crossing it out. According to the same rules, we now cross out row and column that contains the number 0. Let's circle number 1. Let's cross out row and column. So we are striking out the particular row and column. Now let's circle minus 1 and let's cross out row and column. Now finally the left top one is minus 1 here. Let's circle that one and this strike out row and column. So in table below the circle numbers are 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1. If you add them, you get it minus 1. Figure it out. Question number 2. Play the game, same game with the grids below. What answers did you get? Solution. Here, we are taking to this. 7 is a circle 1. We are striking it out. Similarly, 
we are taking this 11 as s1 we are striking it up plus 1 as s1 we are striking it up then minus 5 as s1 we are striking it up so the circle numbers are 7 minus 11 1 and minus 5 so sum of all the circle numbers is 7 plus minus 11 plus 1 plus minus 5 the value is minus 8 let us see second question subsection here so we are circling up this two circle two and the striking out row and column the second one we are circling up this four and we are striking out the row and column the third one we are striking up this minus nine and we are striking up row and column the next one is minus seven and we are striking up row and column the circle numbers are minus two four minus nine and minus seven sum of the all the circle numbers is minus 2 plus 4 plus minus 9 plus minus 7. The sum is minus 14. Figure it out. Third question. What could be so special about these trees? Is the magic in the numbers or the way they arrange the board? Can you make more such a good solution? Good numbers consist of magic numbers and patterns. The true magic often lies in both numbers and arrangement. A specific numbers placed in special arrangement to meet certain conditions like fixed sums, opposite cancelling or visual pattern. For example, in grid 1, the difference between number of row 1 and 2 is equal to the difference between number of row and 3 and 4. Thank you.